Hello everybody, this is Isaac Sanchez here, your financial guide and your financial advice, and let's not be ordinary, but extraordinary today. Now, I'll be talking to you about three reasons for the bank's lending money. This is to keep the cycle of money, which is why your hard-earned money is lended out to other people's pockets for higher interest rates. Before this though, and I'll talk to you about it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it out with others in case they're interested or want this information and advice. And don't forget... I post every Saturday on Sunday, so turn on post notification bells to never miss a post. Now, this all starts back in Italy, Spain, where pretty much merchants traded all the time. Many different currencies were transacted throughout Italy, so they needed a way to keep track of all these currencies from all these different places. So what they did is create a system called a bank, which kept each currency that was transacted through Italy in their own section. And every time it would get traded back, they would lend out that currency again to others. This allowed for a more constructional and pretty much more organized way of trading and merchandising, which leads to banks today, which when you put money in the bank, that money gets distributed back out into another person's pocket at a higher interest rate. So when you save money and put it in the bank, that money that you put in the bank goes out of the bank into someone else's pocket for a higher interest rate. While you get a little percent of interest out of it, you will see your account balance not go down, but in reality, physically, your money is being distributed out to keep the cycle of money going. This is so people can afford things like new houses, and what lending is used to is to take others' money and use it as spendable currency in other people's pockets. Now, this cash and what it is used for is for buying houses, expanding businesses, farmland expansion, and the overall exchanging of currencies from credit, custodian businesses, or custodial businesses, and cash management services. This is what the banks all do with the money you put into it. Now, when a financial boom happens and the access money of the bank just just starts piling up inside of it, some people were a little cheeky with how they use this money. As many use this excess money to make some quick bucks. This is what started the financial crisis of 2008. Now, what happened in this crisis and how banking affected it is that banks were giving out money to everyone and giving out credit to everyone to buy houses. This led to the collapse of the market and housing getting very expensive and also stocks going out which led to a global economy failure. This means that everybody was affected by a, what a couple banks did just to make a quick buck. Now, this may not be the most efficient way of using a bank because after this, many bank tellers or many bank lenders were not trusted after this crisis which is why other things like investment banks which are pretty much a yearly fee and no commissions for investing money into that bank and to put into stocks in the market or credit unions which are a pretty much more friendly way or friendly user bank this meant that the market became very much more reliable on credit unions and investment banks instead of just regular national or international banks out there this meant that credit unions were a much better way of investing in banking now credit unions focused on the shared value and how much money each of their members get instead of focusing on the maximum profit they can make out of this money in bank that was being distributed as lending and as you can see in an average bank they also would build up credit and created a pretty much stable foundation for themselves as the more money you put into it, a percentage you get back for starting and creating your own little business. Which means that credit unions were very entrepreneur likable, which makes them a pretty successful business to this day, like Patelco and etc. Basically, a much more friendly user based bank. Now, now that we know pretty much of why money is lended out and why there are many different types of banks out there, my advice to you is to go with 
pretty much credit unions, banks, or investment banks. I will not guide your life and tell you how you should spend your money, but as your financial advisor, I will advise you to put your money into a credit union, as a credit union can give you a small percent cash back or pretty much any little investment you put in, which goes back to you. What I mean by this is that credit unions are a very great way to start your own business in becoming an entrepreneur onto the way of becoming a millionaire. And since this path and journey that we take to the promised land is going to be a very long path, we always need to keep each other up and being able to do what the top people do and make as much money as we possibly can. Now, banking is easier and making money is much more easier than it was 100 years ago. But it plans on how you decide to look at the aspect of things and which, how much money you want to make. This is Isaac leaving you with this video and I'll see you guys in the next post. See ya.